Okay, hi guys. And today's video, we're going to be compare. <laughs> hi, Pega wants to be involved. In today's video, we're going to be comparing a Taiwanese school lunch to an American school lunch. And I want to thank my nephew for helping me out with this video. So he was able to take a couple of pictures at his school and he couldn't take like video or stuff like that because obviously he's at school. So um, it's a little bit unbalanced because I have more video and footage of my Taiwanese lunch than of the American lunch. But you can kind of get an idea about the differences between how they are executed. And I think it's quite interesting to see the differences. So this is his channel where he posts videos playing his favorite video games. So please check it out and comment on his videos. And thank you so much for helping me with my video. This is one week, so obviously at my school there's quite a large menu that go expands the whole month. This is just a snapshot, just one week in the lunch menu, so check it out Monday to Friday. Let's get into it. First we'll look at our Taiwanese lunch. Okay, for Monday this week we had white rice, which we have most days. And then for our meat, we had beef in like a beef beef broth and then with carrots. And then there was two vegetables. There was kind of a lightly pickled cabbage with carrots and then a water spinach, I think, um, which is one of my favorites. I really like that. They always have a soup on the side as well. And usually the soups are more of just a broth. So they might just have little, a little bit of ginger in it and it's more of a broth than like a hearty soup. For our fruit this day, we had white dragon fruit. I really like the pink flesh colored dragon fruit, but the white one is also good. And they give you quite like a half of one, so it's quite a big piece. And then this is what it looks like when it's all together. They do provide trays, but I just had a bowl that I had from the school I worked at previously. So I just kind of pile it all together. So I put some rice and the meat and vegetables and it's just kind of like a meat bowl. And then I take it up to our teacher's office and eat because I said there's not a cafeteria for the students or for teachers. And that's how I enjoy my lunch. Okay, the Monday lunch from an American middle school or high school and they have a cafeteria so they would line up and then get their food and then go back to their table and sit with their friends. He really likes the chicken patty so a lot of days he got the same thing. Um, he got a chicken patty sandwich and a little cup of corn, an apple, and some chocolate milk. This was the other selection. You could, if you didn't get the chicken sandwich, you could have got the sweet and spicy barbecue. Every day there's different options. They might have something that they have every day and then you can kind of choose which one you want as opposed to the Taiwanese lunch. They have what they have and you just need to eat it. Okay, some of the differences between a Taiwanese school lunch and American school lunch. The Taiwanese schools usually don't have a cafeteria so the lunch ladies will bring the food to the outside of their homeroom classroom. And then depending on their age, if they're younger, the teachers will dish it out. And if they're a little bit older, they'll have student helpers. And I think this was how it was in America during COVID where the students actually ate in their classroom. But normally in American schools, the students will eat in cafeterias and they'll, if they're older, they can kind of choose where they want to sit and sit with their friends. And it's a little bit more of a social casual thing. In the Taiwanese schools that I work at, the lunch is quite serious and the kids really aren't supposed to talk. They kind of just sit at their desk and eat and uh, it's not a very sociable time. So that's a big difference. Okay, on to Tuesday's lunch for Taiwan. We had white rice again. And then for our protein, they had chicken. It, the chicken is a little bit different. The flavor is really good. It has a kind of like a gingery flavor, but the way that they cut it or chop it kind of creates like not clean cuts and there's a little bit of like shards of bone in it so a lot of the teachers are not a big fan just because of the bones but the flavor is really good the first vegetable is bitter melon carrots and wood ear mushrooms not my favorite the second vegetable is a stir fried cabbage this is one of my favorites it has a really great flavor and there's carrots sprinkled throughout then they had the broth for soup again. And the fruit today was half of a guava 
And actually, when I first moved to Taiwan, I really didn't like guava. It had a subtle pine flavor that I was just not really that fond of. But at school, I always eat the fruit that they give you just because it's there. And over time, I actually started to really like guava. And now I think it's quite refreshing and it's a nice little treat. Okay, let's get into Tuesday's American lunch. On this day, my nephew took a hamburger, french fries, an apple, and chocolate milk. The secondary option that you could have chose was the pizza. And when I was in school, I always liked the school pizza a lot. It's just like a very generic pizza, but it's somehow like a comfort food. So I probably would have taken that one. Another big difference is the quality of food. So there's different styles of food, but the Taiwanese food tends to seem more fresh. Like, I don't think I've ever had a frozen vegetable. The, the vegetables are all made in-house by the kitchen aunties. And there's a lot more like fresh meat and different varieties of fruits. Whereas the American lunch tends to have, if they have vegetables, but they're definitely frozen and warmed up. And there's a little bit more unhealthy options like pizza and hamburgers and all of this stuff. So. Um, I think the Taiwanese lunch is a little bit more healthy for the students. Wednesday's Taiwanese lunch at my school is always noodles. So Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, we'll always have rice, different kinds of rice. And then on Wednesday, we'll always have noodles. And the Wednesday lunch is often quite simple compared to the other lunches. So sometimes some teachers will go out for lunch because it's not that great, it's okay. This week we had a kind of lo mein noodle with different vegetables inside, and then the protein were chicken strips. It's also not one of my favorites, it's just okay. It's a little bit bland. The fruit for this day was a green orange or tangerine, and when I first moved to Taiwan, I thought that they were like limes or something, but no, they're actually an orange, and it's really, really good. It's juicy but when you peel it it doesn't like get juice all over your hand it like peels cleanly and it's sweet and nice and this is one of my favorite fruits in taiwan when it's the green orange season it's i really love it because it's just the perfect little fruit snack okay on to wednesday's american lunch and the options they had that day were beef and cheese nachos crispy chicken nuggets and the vegetable was seasoned steamed broccoli and they also have the options you can get every day. So my nephew really likes the chicken patty sandwich. So here's his lunch. He has chicken patty sandwich, an apple, looks like broccoli, and then the chocolate milk. Another big difference that was really hard for me at first was that usually Taiwanese people don't drink with their meal. So you'll notice that there's no juice, milk, anything like that. Um, that you'll have available with the lunch. Whereas in America, there'll always be some sort of chocolate milk, milk, different juices. What the Taiwanese lunch will have for their drink will be the soup. So they'll eat their lunch and then at the end they'll go back and after their bowl is cleaned, then they'll fill it up with soup and that'll kind of like wash down their lunch. So it's a little bit different, um, different style. Okay, Thursday's Taiwan lunch. Of course, the main part is white rice. That's the staple most days. And then for the protein, they have chicken again. I was actually looking, I couldn't remember if it was chicken or duck because sometimes we have duck, but I think this one's chicken. And it has a very different flavor than the other chicken we had, but the same issue of the way that it's cut. So it's cut in a way that makes the bones not so easy to eat, so it's a little difficult. Then there's a type of tofu called dogan, I think, for the vegetable. I'm not sure if this is bok choy or some other vegetable that's similar, but it's quite bitter and it's also not one of my favorites. The soup this day was a radish soup, so I didn't take any, but at the bottom there would be chunks of white radish chopped up and it's quite nice, very mild soup. And for the fruit, we got half of an apple. Okay, let's check out Thursday's lunch from America. The first option they had was chipotle chicken fajita, which sounds really, really good actually. I've never seen that in a school lunch before. The vegetables were seasoned steamed peas and fresh broccoli, which I'm not sure if it's fresh broccoli or frozen, but if it's fresh, that's awesome. 
And then you could choose to have ice cold apple juice. And my nephew who got the, the, the options that you can choose every day. So he got the hamburger again and an apple and a milk. Friday's Taiwan lunch. It starts off with rice, and because I work at a Catholic school, actually every Friday is fish or seafood because they can't eat meat on Friday. For our school lunch, whenever we have seafood, they always pair it with uh, purple rice or like a more grain, multi-grain rice, so that's why it looks a bit different. The main dish for today was fish curry, and it had carrots and lima beans inside, So, and it tastes more like the Japanese-style curry if you're familiar with that flavor. Usually to go along with the fish, they always have some version of an egg. So today they had scrambled eggs with shrimp inside. The vegetable was bitter melon and mushrooms. Also not one of my favorites because I'm not a big fan of bitter melon. The fruit, we had banana. There was the soup broth to wash down your meal. And the last one today is Friday's lunch for America. The main dish that they had was a meatball sub, canned peaches. You could also choose like a chicken bake wrap here, but my nephew really likes the, the staple items that they have. So he got the chicken patty again and it looks like some succotash and an apple and chocolate milk. Okay, thank you so much for watching and let me know in the comments below what do you think about the Taiwanese lunch versus the American lunch? Which one looks better to you? And if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button. We're very close to getting a thousand subscribers, which we never thought we would get to. So please, if you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching and following along with our Taiwan adventure. We will see you in the next video. Bye. That's my noise in the background.